We'll be installing our double 35 quart pullout waste container in this base cabinet, which requires a 15 inch minimum opening. Now we do have some other sizes available in a single 35 and single 50 quart container that requires a 12 inch minimum opening. We also have a double 50 quart container that requires an 18 inch minimum opening. I do want to point out that our 35 quart units will work in either a full height or door drawer application, but our 50 quart containers will require a full height door application. Now, since we are installing our Bloom servo drive system, you are going to need a required minimum depth of 22 and a half inches. Now, this will or will not work in some inset door applications. But if you have purchased your unit without the servo drive system, you only need 21 and 3 quarter inch minimum depth, and this will work in all inset door applications. In order to make your installation simple, we went ahead and identified some tools that will help with your installation. First of all, you need a hammer as well as a center punch. We're using a 10 millimeter nut driver, but if you don't have a nut driver available, you can use a 10 millimeter wrench. We have a Phillips head screwdriver, scissors to cut our template, and of course, a drill with a Phillips head bit. We're going to begin by opening our carton to find out what's inside. Before you begin though, I'd like to point out that we have a production label that's right here on the front of the box. I suggest that you keep this for your records just in case you need to refer to it back in the future. Now let's begin by opening our box. Now that we have everything laid out, I'd like to go over each of the components that you're going to receive in your kit. One thing I would like to point out that in all of our double 35 quart and 50 quart units, you are going to receive a green recycling lid. Of course, you have your two 35 quart silver metallic waste containers our Bloom servo drive system, our maple wood box with our patented door mount brackets. You're going to get your tandem Bloom motion slide system with your hardware bag. And of course, with the tandem Bloom motion system, you are going to receive quite a few templates and instruction sheets. But one thing I would like to point out is that before you get started is that you want to start with the Revishelf instruction sheet. This will make the installation a lot easier. We are now ready to begin our product installation. Revishelf and Bloom have partnered together to bring you this new incredible waste container. I would like to point out though that in your kit you will receive multiple instruction sheets from both Bloom and Revishelf. What we have done is we have consolidated those instruction sheets down to this master instruction sheet. You will want to start with this first as it will help you with the ease of installation. We're now ready to start with step one in our instructions and that is going to be to modify our Bloom template. We'll begin by cutting this down to fit our current cabinet. Now that we've cut our template, we're going to go ahead and place this inside our cabinet. We'll fold our flaps down here over the face frame and then we will mark our center line here in the front and in the back. Now that our template is firmly in place, we're going to take our hammer and our center punch and we'll go ahead and mark our hole locations. Now that we have punched our hole locations, we can remove our template and grab our Bloom slide system. And one thing I'd like to point out is that when you're handling the slide system, it's important that you grab it here by the mounting straps. It just makes handling it a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and insert this into our cabinet opening. And I'd like to point out that you want to make sure that the slide system is mounted in the center of the cabinet as well as it's pulled all the way up to the face frame. Now some cool features of the Bloom Motion slide is that it features 110 pound weight capacity as well as full extension soft closing slides. Now that our slide is in place, we'll go ahead and take our drill and we'll screw it down. Before we can install our wood frame to our slide system, we're going to need to install our Bloom locking devices. Now one thing I like to point out is that Revishelf has went ahead and pre-drilled the holes necessary for your locking device, so no other drawer preparation is necessary. So we're going to take our locking device and our Phillips head screwdriver and we'll go ahead and install the screws. We are now ready to begin installing our Bloom servo drive system. Now if you have purchased your waste container without the servo drive, you can simply skip this step and move on to the part where we will install the wood frame to the slides. Now, one thing I like to point out is that you'll notice I have the mounting plate here in my hands and you want to make sure that the, the word tandem is horizontal. 
And there's also a little dimple here on the underneath side. This will actually fit right into the mounting strap in the rear, and that should secure into place. Then we will take our servo drive, and that also has two dimples in it. And then we will finish off by installing our two screws. Next, we're going to grab our transformer as well as our vampire connector. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that if you plan on using multiple servos in your installation, you will need to refer to the Bloom user manual for detailed information on how that works. Next, you're going to grab the end from the servo drive and the end from your transformer. You're going to take your vampire connector, and there is only one way that these can go in, and you'll simply insert your one end. And you want to make sure that you leave enough on the end so you can put your cover cap on. And then you'll insert your other end. Again, making sure that you have left plenty of room for your cover cap. Once those are in place, you're simply going to clamp down on the vampire connector and firmly press that down in place. And what that does is that will pierce the wire to make sure you have a good connection. Then you will follow up and you'll place on your cover caps. Next, you're ready to install this into a standard 110 outlet. Now that our servo is installed, we're now ready to install our wood frame onto our slide system. The easiest way is to go ahead and remove your slides out from the cabinet. You will simply rest your wood frame on the slides. You'll reach underneath and pull your slides into the locking device and simply slide your unit into the cabinet. In order for your waste container to function properly, you're going to need to screw in these distance bumpers. Now, if you have purchased your unit without the servo drive, these distance bumpers are not required. When you go to install them, you want to make sure that you install your bumpers behind our door mount A and B brackets. This will ensure that the unit functions properly. So next, we're going to go ahead and install our distance bumpers. Now that all four of our distance bumpers are installed, we are now ready to mount our cabinet door. One thing I do want to point out is many cabinet doors come with those tiny rubber bumpers. You will need to remove those in order for your distance bumpers to work properly. Now I went ahead and I've already pre-measured where my door is going to mount, but you do want to remember to mount to the thick portion of the door. Now that we have the cabinet door mounted to our waste container, I'm going to go ahead and shut the unit. And I noticed that our cabinet door is not perfectly aligned. No worries, we can adjust this with Revishelf's patented door mounting brackets. What we can do is if you loosen the 10 millimeter nuts behind the unit, you can slide your door either left or right. You can also adjust the tilt adjustment by loosening or tightening these screws. There is some additional tilt and height adjustment on the bloom slide as well. Now that our door is adjusted, we're going to finish our insulation by installing our waste containers. One thing I would like to point out is that your lid is going to only work in the front position. Now that both waste containers are installed, your insulation is complete.